We are back, baby. It came from Craigslist is here again. Today, we're on the hunt in Phoenix, Arizona. So sit back and relax. This is going to be a fun one. First up today, we've got this fully custom 1986 Sportster listed on Facebook Marketplace for three grand. This bike is a frame-up custom bike with an SNS crate engine and a whole slew of pretty high-quality aftermarket parts. But this bike becomes It Came From Craigslist worthy because of the paint job. I got some backlash last time I mentioned how I disapprove of weird custom paint jobs. So to the same custom paint enjoyers who said I was wrong, can you tell me in earnest that this paint job of cobwebs and spiders on a 1986 Sportster is a good look. It's like a mother Busa had an affair with the one percenters Dyna and gave birth to this baby custom Sportster. It's got hella boomer energy with the choice of seat, the flared rear fender, and the buckhorn handlebars. It looks like a decent build, but the paint job and dad level comfort makes this a pass for me. Also, you can tell this was owned by a dad because half of the pictures are so blurry you can't even tell what they're supposed to be showing. Hell yeah, another mini chopper, let's go. This is listed as a 2023 Honda mini chopper for sale for 650 bucks. Man, I have been sleeping because I didn't see Honda mention this alongside their new bikes for the 2023 model year. Weird. Some people just love to tinker. This is the product of a tinkerer with plenty of time on their hands because they must have gotten custom fabricated a pretty good majority of the parts on here. Unless you can just buy mini chopper frames somewhere else because this thing has a ton of drip. It's got the mini apes, the headlight grill, upswept dual exhaust, bat wing wheels, color match tins, you name it. Imagine rolling up to your third grade ice cream social on this bad boy. All the ladies would be in line to give you their favorite crayons, which you would promptly consume with your face. The description says they are unsure of the brand, so I don't know why it's listed as a Honda. Maybe it uses a 50cc Honda engine. I'm really unsure. It's kind of sick though, but this is completely one of those custom mini bike projects that runs when you go to buy it because the seller knows all the tricks to get it started, but will never run again the minute you take it home. So then you have to put a Harbor Freight Predator engine in it and then immediately sell it and pass this cursed mini chopper onto the next person. That's how mini choppers work. They're kind of like ghosts that follow people around. Okay, I know it came from Craigslist as intended to make fun of clapped and wretched motorcycles, but sometimes we have to feature bikes that are actually cool. A needle in the haystack, so to speak. Listed here is a Supermint 1971 Honda CB350 for sale for 2,950 bucks. I feel like it's pretty uncommon to find an early 70s UJM that is this clean, this complete, and unmolested. Like, thank God some teenager didn't chop the muffler off and install eBay bar end mirrors on this bike. I feel like this has to be a newer paint for how clean it is, but how well done it is and it doesn't have any cartoon characters or superheroes painted on so i'm here for it and it has just 6600 miles that is nothing for a honda you see these bikes closer to 40 50 60 000 miles if not more it doesn't even seem to have any fluid leaks which are usually inevitable on a bike that's over 50 years old this bike is awesome very cool that someone has been able to keep it in such nice condition or restore it to its former glory with all the oem parts i'm not sure if nearly three grand is a fair price or not but i'm sure there are honda collectors that would go nuts for this very cool find. This bike is kind of weird. So we have a 2007 Kicker Hard Knock 5150, which sounds more like a guitar amp or something than a motorcycle. So it almost looks like a full-size motorcycle, but has a big gaping hole where the engine would normally go. I'm gonna have to do some research real quick. Let me take a look at the interwebs. All right, according to the Kicker website, which also looks like it was designed on a 1999 Dell home PC, these are mail order bobbers that come in sizes from 50 to 250 cc. How strange, I have never heard of this. So essentially this is another mini chopper that is almost normal size, but has a tiny engine and comes from China probably. It's got a hardtail frame, springer seat, and front end, plenty of iron crosses that appear to come from the factory, and weird baseball jockey shift knob, all for the low, low price of 1,500 bucks, even though the website says that they cost just 1,650 brand new. No negotiation, serious buyers only. Do you want to avoid your motorcycle becoming a Craigslist crap bike? Did you make the mistake of accidentally purchasing a Craigslist crap bike that you now need to return to its former glory? Then you need to head over to shop.yamityradco, use our year make and model feature. We have all the parts that we have available to keep your bike in tip-top shape. We have tires, exhaust, grips, chains, you name it, and we're adding best high-quality stuff from reputable brands. 
And while you're at it, you can check out our selection of riding gear as well because you do not want to use the half helmet with flames that the seller gave you when you bought the bike from him. Not to mention, every dollar spent on the site gets you an entry to win one of our giveaway motorcycles. Again, that's shop.yammynoob.co for all your motorcycle parts, gear, and accessories. Now back to the video. Buell motorcycles are quirky little machines that seem a lot older than they are with their oddball design choices that seem like something you'd find on a futurist European bike from the 1980s, and then you're like, nope, this is from 2009 not 1989. This listing is for a 2009 Buell 1125. It has 19,000 miles and seems to be in decent enough shape minus the problems the seller has listed in the description. I mostly like this description because it is one of those listings that is like a gateway into a person's soul. I love these. In the first photo, he's showing off his collection of old tires in the background. In the second photo, he's flexing his Yamaha VMAX in the background, as well as his large assortment of garage store dress shirts. And in the last photo, we have a guy photobombing the shot with his butt. Oh, you're taking a photo of your bike? Let me stand right behind it so no one can focus on the bike, but instead fixate on me standing here with my hands on my hips alongside two fresh two liters of Pepsi just waiting to get guzzled down after a nice hot ride in the Arizona heat. Just roll the bike outside for the photos, my guy. It's not that hard. These old Buells are really goofy, but also kind of fascinating. I rode an XB9 a while back, and I was actually really surprised at how well it handled. He wants to trade it for an SV650. I feel like he should trade it for a Turbo Booster so he had something that can rival that VMAX in the background. Idle hands are the devil's playground, and no, I don't mean what you do at night with your socks. I mean unnecessary tinkering. This bike or trike is a perfect example of a tinkerer who's gone too far. It has a Suzuki Bandit rear end, I guess, so like the seat, swing arm, and tire, and then the Honda 450 EX quad front end, or part of a front end, all like cobbled together. He claims he is selling it as a project. This is not a fully operational trike, guys. It is a project, so don't expect to be riding at home. It will need to be trailered. I don't have much to say about this bike considering it is only 1% of a motorcycle. I don't even know. Hmm, so unfortunately, I can't find any cursed Hayabusas for sale in Phoenix right now, although there were some clean looking stock ones available with photos inside of someone's living room, but a stock bike is no fun, is it? Luckily, I found a cursed Kawasaki Impersonator, a 2007 ZX14R. This bike has all of the cursed Showbusa bells and whistles, it got custom paint, although unfortunately there is no ultra-specific cartoon theme like Powerpuff Girls or Disney's Fantasia 2000. This bike has around 17,500 miles and is listed for less than 11,000 bucks. If this was a Hayabusa, they would charge twice as much. It doesn't seem to have any of the performance mods like a NOS or a turbocharger, but it is equipped with more speakers and subwoofers than an IMAX movie theater. There's literally a subwoofer where the passenger pillion would go, so the rider can bump smooth by Santana featuring Rob Thomas on their way to their child parent-teacher conference. The description of this bike is pretty straightforward, no nonsense. Full custom paint job, 300 rear tire, chrome, air ride, financing available. For a moment of unsolicited Yammy Noob financial advice, um, do not finance a 15 year old custom motorcycle with 17,500 miles. Just don't. Think about your future. Okay, wretched boosas are like peak meme level used bikes, but do you know what else comes a close second or maybe third or fourth after you consider mini choppers or mobility scooters? Wretched Groms. Here we have a 2018 Honda Grom listed for just 1500 bucks. Man, that's kind of a bargain considering what Groms and monkeys are going for these days. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, if you look at the picture, it looks like it fell victim to one of Whistlin' Diesel's durability tests. The description reads, needs work. Yeah, no kidding, buddy, where did the other half of it go? Second picture shows it on the battlefield in Afghanistan, which is probably how he practically blew it to pieces. And the third photo is a guy just flexing how tall he is. Hey guys, look, my shadow is like 10 feet tall. I'm an alpha Chad tall boy. Like, bro, you're selling a Grom, not selling your shadow. Why is this the photo you used? It apparently has a high compression piston cam intake and exhaust. So I'm not sure what the deal with it is, but I would steer clear. All right, the last motorcycle we have today is, drum more please, another mini chopper. This is one of the most cursed mini choppers I think I have ever seen. The dimensions are so disproportionate and awkward. It's got the tiniest tractor tire in the rear and a small little 3.5 horsepower engine resting inside a frame that is way bigger than it needs to be. Massive full-size ape hangers, weird forks that look like they're made out of hairpin legs from a coffee table, and a child's bicycle tire in the front. I will say though, I think 3.5 horsepower is about as much as I would ever want in a mini chopper. A mini chopper with like 20 to 30 horsepower would be horrifying. It would probably rip itself in half. The mini chopper, of course, is a custom flame paint job, which is kind of a necessity for a mini chopper. But it also has some fake bullet holes in the gas tank to imply that this bike has seen some sort of combat. I assume it was the other belligerent in the great war that the Grom fought. 
Or maybe it's John Wick actually riding a mini chopper in the third movie. I don't know, that's probably what inspired this. Actually, as a bonus, here's another mini bike, but this one's badass, like end of the world spec apocalypse machine. It's got the knobby tire, big sucker air cleaner, FMF power bomb exhaust, headlights, 100% street legal, E85 tune. Okay, I embellished a bit at the end there, but really this is by far the best mini bike we've seen today. I'd do the Paris Dakar rally on this beast. And that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Which city should we look at next for It Came from Craigslist? If your area has a litany of cursed and wretched motorcycles, let me know down below. Please take a minute to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to stay current on all the new videos dropping soon. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Fact, baseballs will fly further if they're warm than if they're cold. That's because the warmer ones weigh less and therefore have less air resistance. Goodbye. Keep watching Amy Noob!